Atten. Atten. All right, we've got a frame here. Let's have a look what we got. Can you guess what I got? Let's Looks a like a bike, Harry. Bike frame. That's the US is crazy for what you can get over here. And I love bikes, man. The good thing about bikes is when you die, someone else is going to be riding them. You know, it's not like, it's not a disposable item, really. Especially the, these days, the bikes, you can fix them, you fuck them up, you fix them up. I think we'll, we'll bury some with you in your grave. Someone's going to be riding some nice bikes and I'll check off the planet. Yeah. Careful, stay for the Almost cut my fingers. Off. Excited? Unboxing. Unboxing, the mystery bike. Got a new bike. Oh my god. It's a new frame, sorry. Some of you guys might recognise it, some of you might not. It's packed pretty well. I'm going to ship this to Australia so I'm not going to destroy the box too much. Alright. Now you can repack the whole thing. Oh, fuck, it's lightweight. Ooh. Look at that. Oh my god. What's, this, what's the little message say? Ooh. Let, me put it, let me have a look. Let me have a look. Come on, it's a bit more exciting for people to read it with you. <laughs> Some Steve. Thanks, Steve. Thank you, paid my... What? Thank you, and my best to you and your family, Steve. Is that a friend, or...? No, this is a guy Steve, feedback. Look at this condition. Fuck, it's a rosin tinge prestige. <laughs> look at that. Oh, my God, this is incredible condition. This is incredible condition. <laughs> look at that. You can hang it on your wall with the other 20. And look at the, the rosin BB. Look at that. Look at that, look at that boys That's, and girls. This is unreal. Wow, how's the colour? It probably doesn't look that good on camera, but this is going to be a ripper. The first Tange bike for over 20 years had a BMX when I was a kid. But look at those dropouts, mate. Look at that. It's a bit of craftsmanship there. So Bounce Guy bought it, new old stock, back in 1991. Obviously, he hasn't ridden it much. It's only about a couple of thousand miles, if, if any. It's only a few scrapes. I'll throw a scrape under here. What's this one under here? Your bike's not getting scrapes, not getting ridden. No, like go this way. Um, it's in there. Yeah. That's some good chain sock. But that's good. We've got oh, a little bit of character this, look there. Look at this budding on this, man. They, they don't make bars like this anymore, do they? Really? Budding. Budding. Let's have a look at the forks. What the forks you got? It's the original forks. Fork you. It's a nice colour. Yeah. Sort of aqua. Look at the condition of these forks. Look at this. The rosins really were a work of art, weren't they? Look at that. <laughs> Fucking oath, man. Let us know down below what group set should we build it on. I'm going to build this into a climbing bike. It's not going to have any retro shit on it. It's going to have legit equipment. The gear selection back in the day wasn't good enough. That's why these bikes really didn't get ridden much because no one's going to compact back then. It's just like, you know, 55, 42, grind your knees out. So these bikes didn't get ridden that hard. But... These days, the compact cranks, you can go up Hellbergs again, again, again. So I'm going to go up to the clubbing bike. What group set you want to see me put on it? I'm going to lock you out of eBay, I think. And uh, <laughs> probably put some, uh, some new jurists in there. Thanks for watching. Going to lock you out of eBay, bro. Yeah. Yep. It's the uh, N plus one. If your girlfriend or your husband <laughs> or whatever doesn't want you to get more bikes, show them the door. Oh, really?